Okay, so I've done a bit more. Uh, I've been working on the fiberglass parts. Uh, these were pulled from the moulds of my original one, so I can make all these parts still. Need a bit of cleaning up. The moulds have uh, not fed so well over the last seven years, but they're still usable. So that's uh, parts coming out of the moulds for the next bike. Tank cover, two arm guards, and of course the cannons. Um, I've had to do some upgrades. I picked up a second-hand air compressor, the blue one, uh, on the right there to only to discover that the motor in it was pretty much had it. So what I've had to do there was uh, replace the motor. So I just picked one of those up, $79 online. So I've now got two tanks. I've uh, hooked them both up together so I'll get a larger capacity. I need for some of the longer cuts. Um, this morning, there's the motor. So it's the same motor as I used in the previous bike. Uh, I've been collecting bits and pieces disc brakes, brake lines, uh, what else have we got there, brake calipers, um, disc brakes in there, picked up the metal this morning, so there's the metal for the bike, and I've got the plate metal here, which I will put on the plasma cutter and get cutting fairly soon, um, bearings, what else have we got? These are the just fake pneumatic cylinders, which uh, what I call garnish on the bike. Uh, I've been printing 3D parts, so uh, cannon tips, machine guns, uh, air hose holders, box of all the aluminium that I've used on that I'll need on the bike. So you can see there's the pneumatic cylinder that's used on the front end there. These arrived on Friday, which I was happy to see. So this is the battery pack. Um, batteries go in these little holders, there's the battery charger, and this time I'm using these guys, so they're 3.2 volts, each of those, and they are high power batteries. Uh, the original ones I used in the first bike were originally rated at 10C, so I thought they were going to be better than what they were, but it turns out that they couldn't provide the power that I really needed. I mean, they were fine for the bike, um, but this one should actually take off. The other one, you can't take off. You couldn't take off at a fast, super fast speed without the risk of <laughs> uh, catching a battery on fire, which wouldn't be so good for the bike. So that's where we're at. Next, we'll um, gonna continue with the metal work. So the metal arrived. I'm using these chunks of steel here. I'll turn into bearing holders. To hold the bearings, so uh, there's bearings in the steering, in the steering column, uh, at the back wheel, uh, on the uh, right hand side, which is the return sort of side, the, the non-floating side, um, bearings in the steering, so I've got a bit of turning to do on the, doing the lathe here, but uh, yeah, it's slowly coming together, and I did manage to find Another set of lights, which is good, um, because they're awfully, awfully rare. Okay, this is a centre pivot at the middle of the bike. So we'll have bearings inside here, which I'll show you shortly. Um, so this is the one that uh, attaches, I guess, to the front end. And the other side, which I haven't cut yet, I'll top it off here, um, will attach to the frame of the bike. So this side here will be 175 millimetres long, which is the width of my frame and this one here is 125 millimeters long. I'm using the pipe diameter is 114.6 I believe and the thickness of the pipe is about four millimeters which is uh, slightly less than my first bike. I'm trying to reduce the weight to see if I can get this bike as light as possible. So this is a stub axle. I've turned it down to about 20 mil. Um, it's about 30 centimeters long. And now I'm making on the lathe the bearing holders. So I've turned this up on the lathe. This is the um, the inside one. I'll make an outside one. Uh, then we'll plasma cut a plate, go around it. We'll weld the plate onto this, and then that'll fit inside there. And that's pretty much the front steering arm. So that'll be up like that. There'll be one down here, and that's where you pivot will be sitting here. This rod will be welded, obviously this is a short one, uh, inside that and then your frame is mounted to that 
to this pipe here. And this, yeah, as I said, it's just a stub axle. Um, it'll have an end plate on the end of it, so you don't see the axle at all. And I tap a hole into here, and then put a bolt on it, and then you've got your support of your frame coming down here, which you'll see later on. This is the main bearing set that I'll be putting on there. So I've turned these up on the lathe. So I'll then uh, plasma cut um, some plate that will weld onto this so that'll slide inside the pipe and that'll be your main bearing. Um, I've started to prepare all the other bearings. These ones here will be uh, part of the suspension system. These ones here are for the, uh, the front steering. Um, this, these bearings will go inside a block once so I've cut them out, so I'll have to get those out. These will be my steering bearings, and this one here will be uh, the rear bearing that attaches to the wheel. So, slowly getting things prepared. Um, yeah, it's coming together nicely so far.